63, the noes are 56, the motion is agreed to. I call on members order of the day number one. Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Regulatory Improvements Amendment Bill, Committee Stage. I declare the House and Committee for consideration of the Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Regulatory, Regulatory Improvements Amendment Bill. Uh, Madam Chair. Mr Speaker. Members, the House is in committee um, on the Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Regulatory Improvements Amendment Bill. The question, the question is that uh, part one stand part. Madam Chair. I call Stuart Smith. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, this this uh, bill is about uh, reforming the Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Amendment uh, uh, Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Bill Act, I should say. I'll get it right eventually. Of 1982, um, friendly societies were formed some years ago and continue to be formed under the premise of helping out its members in times of sickness and widowhood, and they are funded by voluntary subscriptions and/or donations. Um, on the other hand, credit unions are financial cooperatives that have been set up uh, to encourage savings, thrift, and um, uh, financial education and to enhance uh, for social and economic well-being of its members and society as a whole. Any surpluses that are generated by credit unions are reinvested uh, for the benefit of the members. There are currently 13 credit unions in New Zealand with 190,000 members. They have deposits uh, to the value of $1.7 billion and transactional value per annum of around $10 billion. This bill is a continuation of the good work uh, started by the National Government under the John Key and uh, Bill English Government. Uh, when they faced the uh, GFC in 2008 uh, and the fallout from that, including South Canterbury Finance and other finance companies' failures uh, and other issues in the finance sector, and the reforms were uh, uh, set out in a broad suite of reforms to simplify legislation and to ensure that it was very, uh, that the consumers were at the heart of that legislation. And for example, the Credit Contract and Consumer Finance Act of 2014, that was followed by the Credit Contract and Consumer Finance Regulations of 2015, and prior to that, the Financial Markets Authority Act of 2011. So the consumer was put at the heart of that legislation to ensure um, that they uh, understood what they were, the risks uh, that were involved and their obligations. And this um, current bill is in line with the uh, World Council of Credit Unions model law and in fact uh, the World uh, Credit Unions Association uh, points out that New Zealand is an outlier uh, when it's compared to the other countries that are involved uh, and particularly in Canada and the UK by not having incorporated um, uh, credit unions and, and friendly societies. The credit unions in particular in Australia, which was often raised by submitters in the select committee stage, uh, where in Australia they were able to incorporate, in fact had to incorporate under the Companies Act and were able to demutualise, uh, that is not possible under this bill. And so that allays a lot of the fears raised by uh, some of the submitters. The key broader changes are that the bill aims to remove unnecessary operating and compliance costs, uh, promote a, uh, promotes greater efficiency and accountability, it brings credit unions into line with other financial service providers in New Zealand, it, it seeks to maintain the element of mutuality and a common bond between members, it, and it modernises the, and updating the Act to ensure it is refreshed and suitable for modern day credit unions. The specific changes in the Act uh, that, uh, a little bit more specifically, it simplifies the statutory objects of an association of credit unions to cover the conduct of the activities for the benefit of its members. Uh, it provides for the incorporation of credit unions, as I mentioned. Um, it allows 
credit unions uh, to be bodies corporate and to ha have what's known as the powers of a natural person. This takes place under the Friendly Societies and Credit Unions Act and rather than under the Companies Act, as I mentioned earlier. Introduction of, uh, it introduces certain measures to reduce uh, the minimum number of credit unions uh, required for an association, uh, which is in line with the changing face of the credit unions as they uh, amalgamate and we have less of them. And it uh, um, allows friendly societies to offer securities. And friendly societies, particularly around insurance, have been constrained by their ability to raise capital and to provide uh, the services that their members require. And so this bill will allow that. So thank you, Madam Chair. I call the Honourable Jackie Dean. Thank you, Madam Chair. I um, want to.